Welcome to Why Data Fabric. Let's explore together how to generate time series synthetic data. To start with, we need a data source, and that's exactly what I've done. Under my data catalog, I've created a new data source, which consumes my data from my Google Cloud Storage and is a time series. I could have uploaded my data as a file, or I could have read my data from an RDBMS, but in this case, my data was stored in a Google Cloud Storage, and for that reason, I've selected that connector. In terms of the data types, this is very important to be correctly set, as it will influence the type of synthesis that we will later on explore. It also impacts the type of validations in terms of your data profiling that are executed. For instance, and because my data set is a time series, I can get warnings such as stationarity, and I can also explore more in-depth graphics that are specific to time series, such as ACF and PACF plots. Given that I'm okay with my data source and everything is all right, and I just want to augment my data set, I'm going to jump into my synthesizers component. I have here a synthesizer already created, because synthesizers can take a few minutes to hours to train. And I want to show you how it looks like to have a synthesizer that was successfully trained. But in order for you to train your own synthesizer, you just need to follow a few steps. You start by selecting your data source or creating a new one. You select your data types or metadata of your data set. This is highly important, especially for time series because you are defining, for example, which column are we using to sort the data uh, in terms of time, which in this case is, of course, my date. But we also are selecting whether my data source has more than one entity. This is very important if you are working, for example, with a full data set of stocks from different companies for the same time period, or if you are looking or working with a data set from sensors um, and each, and you have a full data set with more than one sensor included for readings for the same period. In this case, I have a data set with a single entity. I could select not to generate even the entity because it's a single data set. In terms of target, I may or may not select. It will depend on whether I want to evaluate the quality of my synthetic data for machine learning purposes. I give it a name. And I'm good to go. Let's explore the already trained synthesizer that was using my original data source. In the view of the trained synthesizer, I can have right away uh, the metadata or the summary of my metadata selection. This is very important in order to evaluate the impact of the metadata selection in terms of the quality of the generated synthetic data. But I can also have right away a sneak peek into my overall quality scores for the synthetic data, which goes from fidelity, utility, and privacy. As this is a use case of utility or mainly about augmentation, I haven't optimized my synthesizer for privacy. All the scores are explained in more depth and more detailed metrics under our quality report that can be downloaded as a CS as a PDF file and can be shared within your organization. And of course, every trained synthesizer enables you to generate as many records, synthetic data records as you want and on your demand. For that, I go to generation and I can just impute the number of entities that I want to generate. This synthetic data set had originally just one entity, and because I want to augment, I can select and ask for three. And what does it mean to augment entities? Well, in this case, we are generating three time periods that are matching your original time period, but we are generating, let's say, several companies with the same behavior as ARNC, but with a certain variability that we could understand or we could generate from your original data. 
each and every synthetic sample that you generate also brings you a very extensive report and visual one in terms of the fidelity of the, your data with basic statistics or more uh, generative or descriptive statistics. We have the alerts, so you can right away understand how close in terms of sessionarity and seasonality is your synthetic data, but we also have your time plots, your ACF plots, and also a multivariate perspective on the quality of your data.